Hi, welcome back to Smart Mom. This is January's 2013 online mommy timeout video. This month we're going to talk about something that's going to be um, more of a warning than it is a, a, win, a, a video of autism behaviors and thinking outside the box. Um, back when Dustin was a lot smaller um, versus to where he is today, being 16 years old, um, I used to say to myself, I wish I knew then what I knew now. And I say that frequently and definitely here recently. Um, therefore, that's why I came to this video. This video this month um, isn't going to be my typical video. I hope you're going to get something out of it, though, because um, I just basically want to give you moms a heads up. Watch out. Keep your clippers and your scissors and put them away. Um, <laughs> let me go into my little story. Basically, uh, we went away for about a week. I hadn't given Dustin a haircut or a shave in probably three weeks. And um, apparently, Dustin was getting the need of having that done. However, when we were up at the other house uh, in the farm, we, um, we don't have those things there. We have them here. So when we got back, um, uh, Dustin went to the restroom like he normally does. I didn't think anything of it. But it took a little bit longer than normal. So I went up and I just kind of went in to check on him. And I said, Dustin, what did you do? As he popped out of the bathroom. And he just, of course, and he looks all proud. And he says, haircut. And of course I couldn't help but try not to laugh and try to keep serious. But I wanted to not make him feel bad because... On a good note, he is trying to find himself. He is trying to make his own appearance, like all kids do. And that's something I was always told when, um, well, when he was first diagnosed, that he is never going to pretend. He is never going to do the things that normal kids do. He is never going to conversate. He is never going to talk to me. I'm never going to hear mommy and I love you. And I'm hearing all that stuff. So, if I would have known then what I've known now, I wouldn't have had all those mommy crashes all those years. And I just really, really want to encourage you moms to do the same and think positive and, and use us as an example, if you must, that things can get better. But you got to try. you got to really make the effort. you got to show these guys as much love and consistency and, and really show them that you really want them to progress. And it will happen. But you've got to make the effort, moms. They can't do this on themselves. They need you to encourage them. And even if it's on a bad note, as a haircut that they're trying to give themselves, you certainly don't want them to feel bad about that because they're trying to find their personalities, their own selves. Um, he's even starting to turn his hat around to not look like everybody else. And I think it's great. So I, I just wanted to give a little bit of advice to moms out there that if you happen to come into these situations where even your normal kids who are five, six years old cut their hair and try to cut their bangs. I mean, as a kid, I did this. You probably did too. So it's a normal behavior. You do not want these guys to feel like they've done something wrong. You certainly don't want them to get the idea that they can do it again. So, of course, you want to emphasize to them that who gives Dustin a haircut? Who gives it to you? Mommy. Mommy does. So we need to keep emphasizing on that, but we want them to know that you did a great job, but let's let Mommy do this from now on. And I just wanted to basically throw that note your way. Um, like I said, this video is probably a little disappointing to some of you. If it's not, I hope anyway that it's not. Um, I'm hoping this video is going to give you a little bit more insight on hope, um, that there is hope, that these guys, it might be a handful now. I know that sometimes going out in public, they can be quite trying. Um, not to say that it's any different for me because he is bigger, but I pick my battles and I pick the days that I think are appropriate to take him out. Um, but getting back to the reason I wanted you to get this video going in the first place is I wanted you to start your year off better than I have. Um, so it's a little late for me as far as the scissors incident, but it's not for you. So do not underestimate these guys. They are smart cookies and they will find those items. I just simply trimmed my bangs and put them up in the medicine cabinet, hid them behind some things, thought I was safe. I was not. <laughs> so just make sure you keep those things in mind. If you don't want these guys to get a hold of those certain items, hide them extremely well. Um, but in the meantime, I hope this has helped you like it's helped me. I'm going to attach a couple of the pictures <laughs> of what Dustin had done. Um, he did a great job in spite of it all, but um, thank God 
his hair is usually kept short and it grows fast. But in the meantime, um, I hope you uh, enjoy this video or get at least a little something out of it. And um, hopefully, you're not gonna you're gonna use this as a heads up, and it'll save you from any of this unexpected happenings for you as well. So. I just wanted to let you know that this month, and next month I plan on having a, another video, only that's going to be touching base on how I want my son to learn some more everyday life skills. Now, just because they're small doesn't mean you can't start them small. So I'm going to show you on some of the things that I do at home um, to help him prep for uh, his life as hopefully he will be independent one day. So in the meantime, I... Hope you enjoyed this video. And Dustin, you want to say goodbye? Tell your Bye. friends. Have your friends say goodbye. We got Babs dressed up today. And you have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.